paddling looks like a really easy sport when you watch it on TV or you watch people paddling down the canals, but the reality is quite the opposite. Now, whilst it may just look like it's left stroke, right stroke and repeat, we're actually doing a lot more within our paddle stroke to be able to make the boat run efficiently and also fast. So Jordan and I are just going to talk you through a few little technical phases so that when you hop on the water next, whether it be in your kayak or your ski or your ocean ski, you're able to think about those different parts of the technique and hopefully it'll make your paddling a little bit easier. So we'll start with the catch. So the catch is the first part of your stroke. So that's your initial setup, like this. Catch is really important as it sets up the rest of your stroke. So when you come in, you gotta make sure that your lat's locked on, and then as you pull, you start rotating through your body and also pushing with your leg. The next part of your stroke is obviously the bit where you lock on. So it's the middle part of your stroke, kind of like the grunt of your stroke. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure you've got your blade on a, the right angle so that you're not over pitching. If you over pitch your stroke, you'll lose that middle part of your um, stroke way too quickly and basically you'll lose all that lock and then you won't have any glide later on. So what I try to think about is keeping my top hand back, not pushing it forward really quickly and just really connecting this chain. So right from your top arm, right through your abs and through that front arm there and keeping it all in one nice movement. So not having different parts of your body moving at different times. Now the next part of your stroke is the exit. So the exit is obviously the last little bit of your stroke, but that's also one of the most important bits because if you pull past your body too much, you'll only slow the boat down and your boat will bounce. So when you come through from the middle part of your stroke, you, when you twist your body, your exit should just come out easily with the shape of your paddle. And then the last and almost the most important part, and I guess the easiest part as well, is your separation. Now too often we see people just rushing, you know, you just want to take one stroke and get to the next stroke because that's how you make the boat faster. But that's actually wrong. The part where the boat actually picks up its speed and where it actually moves it's, is when your paddle's out of the water. So after you've done that really quick exit and you get it out nice and clean and you reach that catch position, you want to just take a moment to take a breather and glide. It's as simple as that. Obviously, you know, if you're going 60 strokes a minute, 80 strokes a minute, 100 strokes a minute, that glide will be only ever so slight. But even so, you want to make sure you're really holding it here and letting the boat pick up because that's when it picks up and that's when it runs. Now, if you look at videos of different people paddling um, at the top level of, of kayaking or ocean ski paddling or um, spec skis, you'll be able to see this distinct separation even when they're going 120 strokes per minute. So that's how important it is. So that's kind of a basic rundown on the paddle stroke. Uh, we hope you guys have been able to take something home and we look forward to seeing you out on the water next time.